Jim Davis securing yet another victory here. <laughs> yep. Out of the way, boys. Jim's in town. All right, so my friends, welcome. It's World's Prep Time. World Championship number 30. That's a big deal. It's happening in a few weeks, and I am playing a bunch of standard to prep for it. And uh, this is the last of four decks from a Japanese tournament. Uh, it was a decent-sized tournament, like 80 to 100 players. Honestly, though, the lists have been pretty pretty bad. Uh, the ideas have been good, but the list, like the, the execution of the list has been tough. Obviously, it's a very new format still, whatever. But this last list, however, does have a really good look to me. Uh, it does seem like it is pretty well-tuned and looks kind of awesome. This is the combo deck based around Storm Splitter and Enduring Vitality. Uh, and combo is obviously very exciting, and you get... Basically, if you make it so the Splitter or the Valley Flood Caller taps for mana, every spell you cast can untap it and make more mana. Splitter gets more tokens, and so on and so forth. Kind of just guy ascendancy style. That's cool. Only two Splitters, which is pretty interesting. There are four Analyze the Pollens. Also playing Song of uh, Tol Tolacants or whatever here, which is pretty cool because it makes tokens with haste. So it can you can fireball its tokens and then tap them all for mana. And then untap them with the flood caller? No. Yeah, the rats. Yeah, so a lot of cool things happening here. Pretty evolved version of a deck, uh, which I'm excited to try. Also have the say its name uh, Altenac as well, which is cool. So uh, that looks sweet. This, 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 list, this looks very well tuned, and uh, I'm excited to see if this combo is relevant or not. And uh, we're going to find out uh, right now, honestly. So let's get uh, right to the games. Brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. So apparently it's like a 68 cards. <laughs> so it looks well too because it has so many cards in it. Uh, all right. I mean, listen, it did ball an event. We're going to give it a try. And it's definitely uh, a bit of a, a count against it, I think. Uh, last self mill, 68 cards with only two splitters is kind of weird, but, um, let's see what we can do. Chat, come hang out with me. Let's give Karn a French fry. Ready, Karn? Like the video. So I'm giving Karn a French fry. Comment, leave a comment also. Say Karn gets French fries. Go. All right, there we go. Aww. We're gonna keep. We got, uh, get a land. Let me have say its name. Did not notice it was 68 cards. I pulled the list, but... Give it a spin, you know? A lot of testing really is not about even winning. It's about trying ideas, seeing what works, getting an idea of what like what makes sense, doesn't make sense, and so on and so forth. So, that's fine. So we got land into say its name for another land. We got questing druid, we got the splitter. Uh, Here's a scam. Okay, so we have a red green deck. Here's a maze. Uh, all right. I think this is fine. We'll just play say its name. Want to use our mana most efficiently here. So, mill three. We mill over some lands. We can get the copper line gorge here and have torch the tower and end step questing druid. I'm in for that. Sure, ship it. And we'll say go. One scamp. No ley line. Can't die on turn two here. Heartfire hero. I mean, that's two good targets for Torch the Tower. But I think Lizards is viable post Duskmorn. I don't know, honestly. Alright, so. We have Double Torch. I'll just say go. I mean, like, we'll see what they do here. Um, their creatures don't attack for much if I don't target them. If they do target them, I have two removal spells, and I have a good end step buyout plan also, so. So far, we've, we've revealed to them, analyze the pollen, torch tower, say its name. So we look like kind of combo-y. right. No blocks, no effects. Not going to act first here. Taking two damage is fine, so. Okay. Down to 17. I'm gonna sack your scamp, go nuts. Hardfire hero number three. Let's 
Scamp. All right. Very creature heavy draw, uh, which is actually very good against our hand, honestly. Because we, we, we would hope they would have a creature light draw with a lot of spells. We could just kill their creatures. But, all right. Uh, we're going to start killing stuff because we kind of have to. Let's target the hero. They have a monstrous growth here. We'll just double kill it in response, which kind of sucks. But no power classes here, unfortunately. Now the question is, uh, now I'm going to play Questing Druid. So that was a long pause. I think they have Monstrous Rage. If I try and kill another one and they rage at response, that sucks. So I'll just catch fire this uh, Seek the Beast here. Seek the Beast. Torch the Tower and Cash Grab. Pretty good, actually. So the question is, if we don't draw a land... Do you want to try and cash grab for a red source and have double torch up again? All right, so they're going to might of the meek while I'm tapped out. That makes our plan a lot a lot easier. So we draw a verge. Cool. So let's cash grab. And mill some cards. Mill. All right, those are our endurances. Awesome. Uh, so take, take a vitality. And then we're going to go land. Torch the tower. The hard fire. Oops. Torch tower, the hard fire hero. And now we still have torch up. And I think we'd want to leave torch up again. They also might just go for it here because I have already passed cast two torches. So. Here's the spear. Sure. Two cards left. A lot of cow and mouse this game of like just not wanting to blink first. We've drawn three of our four, you know, one man interaction spells, which is great, obviously. Enduring Vitality is a great blocker. Uh, setting up for our combo with Storm Splitter, which is great also. Our one say its name from uh, from uh, firing that plan up. Go to 14. Scamps trigger. They have two cards in hand. Um, I think we're just going to untap. We draw a Valley Flood Caller. So I think it's just Vitality. Leave mana up, honestly. Here's Hedge Mace. Top card Thundering Falls. Ship it. Play Enduring Vitality. Just say go. And we're just getting all revved up. Sixty-eight cards is weird, right? We want to draw our, our good cards. Makes Say It's Name worse. Say It's Name is good. Like, the card Say It's Name is just fine by itself. And the fact that you just randomly the 9-9 nine -nine is kind of cool. They play land number 5 and Emberheart Challenger. Uh, so now that they've played their 5th land, we know they only have one spell in their hand, which is kind of a, a big gain for us. I think holding a second card there would have been much better. It seems fairly obvious we're playing this sort of, like, cat and mouse game. So, their draw is pretty bad. Yeah, just all creatures. But again, like, they haven't really had a point to go for it either. Because they've always had our pool spell up. So if they went for a monstrous rage, we, we, we just cast Torture Response, you know? I think the game's over now. I think the game's... We, 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 won, we, we won, won the game at this point, but... They, they played a, a Might of the Meek. And they're, I think they're pretty clearly holding a, 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 a targeting spell in their hand. They just keep not wanting to do it. Whoa! Right, so let's block the Challenger, I think. And if they go for a pump, we'll kill it response. They'll get one trigger off the challenger, but whatever. It's the most important card to kill, I think. So, and we just have splitter next turn anyway. So we are we're a little light on spells to actually win the game with, but we can also go druid into flood into floodcaller as well. Yeah, we're not, we can't really go off next turn. We don't have enough spells to go off. Turn inside out. So yeah. So we'll say. Uh, get off my plane. Torture response. Torch is also cool, it's like too, because you can sacrifice the Enduring Vitality in response to a Exile Removal spell, which is fun. That's gone, that's gone. Prowess Trigger, they, they hit a Might of the Meek. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, so Pump Draw, we take five. We get on to nine. Scamps are uh, ruled up. We are now out of interaction, but have a lot of blockers, which is nice. We draw a land, it's not ideal. So... 
I think we just go land questing druid, leave a flood caller here. Attack for three, two. Okay, bye, Karn. Uh, so we stay up. Flood call work also is blocked too, which is fine. Um, they're gonna hard cast a ley line of residence. Ah, yes, the polar opposite sides of the ley lines. Uh -huh. Don't even have any attacks. Here's flood caller. Add a counter. Untap. We cannot find a spell, so we have. Full combo here as far as like splitter plus vitality, but like nothing to really do with it. Uh, it's gonna be cast a non creature spell, pump the rats. Yeah, let's look at our top card. Our top card is a botanical sanctum, ship that one. So I guess we're just gonna cast the splitter and like attack with our vitality. Um, we have a lot of blockers, and if we just draw a single spell, we can make rats then, and then un untap them and make a bunch of mana and kill them. So. Sure, let's attack with these. At least this. We're at nine. We want to have enough blockers to not die, too. Because we're not going infinite right now, not infinite, but like, you know, arbitrarily large, I think we want to get some chip shot damage in and say go. They play a land. I have an ugly game on both sides, honestly. Oh, wait. Oh, is this Flash? Oh, wow, cool. Otters. Here's a challenger, but no, yeah. It's a, their, their draw this game was, was very, very bad. They just drew literally all creatures, basically. Uh, yeah, all right, so untap. We drew a spell, awesome, they're just dead. So X is uh, six. Cast this. Cast Slide of Hand. And that's the game, folks. Questing Druid. Flood Caller, Cash Grab, Cash Grab. Uh, find a vitality, sure. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, kind of a weird game. Our draw wasn't, like, great either. Uh, but they brick pretty hard, too. So, I'm gonna leave it back as is. Um, I think that one of the important things about testing is, again, it's not, like, about winning. It's more about learning and, exp you know, this deck went, this deck did, did pretty well. I agree that 60 cards is probably more optimal, but let's just try it out. See how it feels, see how it looks. We're gonna bring in uh, the pyroclasms and the furnaces, and we're gonna cut the ill-timed explosions. I think are too slow on the draw, especially. I'm gonna shave some flood callers too. They seem uh, the easiest thing to kill. And we're gonna leave it at 68, I guess. So let's just give it a spin. All right, uh, Torch, so two removal spells and found him a third path, cool. The annoying thing here is we can't find him a third path, the furnace, but whatever. They have double ley line. Oh, kill me on turn two. I want that complete equity. Kill me on turn two. I'm right here, just kill me. Just kill me. I'm sorry, Tyler Murphy, it was an accident. I was having too much fun. <laughs> Is Karn done barking now? Probably not. Probably not, it's been called. <laughs> Alright, 
so fire up the furnace. It's like I'm living in a haunted house. Is he almost done though? Is he really almost done? Wow, a lot of, a lot of creatures are strong. Double A-line and a bunch of creatures. Uh, sure. So like, finding a third path can cast Seek the Beast, although it's pretty awkward. You're out of the furnace. So as long as I don't have Snakeskin Veil here, I think we're good. I'm gonna try and kill this. Snakeskin Veil would suck. I guess... Monstrous Rage would not save this, so... I agree, I, I hate Ley Lines, I hate this card. They're either awful or... Or like this, where they just like have a dumb effect in the game. We still kill their creature, they draw two cards, so three cards, but... That's pretty good. Uh... This still dies. We take five damage. Let's take out. There's just a spear. Witch's mark. This is absurd, yeah. Alright. Unsurprisingly, Leons are good in your opening hand. So, discard, draw. How am I feeling for worlds? It's a long way away. <laughs> it's a long way away. I agree. I think this card is just like, just, it's probably not too good. It's just miserable as hell. You know, it's just like a really awful design. I think they should stop printing ley lines, period. I don't know why they keep making them, but... All right, so we draw, not a land. Um, we can found him a third path into cash grab, which is cool. Let's do that. Who asked for ley lines? Not me, that's for damn sure. Uh, probably dead here. I mean, we, we could draw, we could draw a, uh, no, we can't. Uh, I don't know, probably just, I guess we wanna, do we need to questing druid here and try and draw a, uh, our rule spell? We probably just die next turn. Sure. All right, whatever. Big Exile, Land, Floodcaller. All right, we're just dead. Uh, sure. Just kill me. Let's go to game three here. The game, they're on the play at double A-line. We should probably lose that game anyway, so. They keep reprinting them because they have a weird idea they can't reprint Leilani of the Void, that being Cycle. That's honestly pretty reasonable. All right, Power Class and me. Mill four. I can't draw power clasm. All right. Uh, yeah. Cash grab. Don't have any outs here, so. No! Pyroclasm! All right, game three. Tap three, cast torch. Yeah, I just didn't even think of that. You're totally right. I screwed up. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. That's okay. We five for game three. On the play. Um, we need a red source. We have a, a maze and a sleight of hand though. And say its name. I guess Altenac is not very good in our opener. We have a removal spell though. Eh, I'm gonna keep. Yeah. Right, well that's the issue is like most ley lines are heinously bad because they have to be because like they're broken if they're good. But occasionally, once in a while, one's good. So, like... All right, so here's a uh, maze. Maze is going to see Thundering Falls. That is a red source. I think that's fine. We're going to keep that. We'll just keep that. Cast Slide of Hand. Play the land. Have Sauna for next turn. They have no creature? And no Ley Line? Wow. Okay. Um, we could say its name here. But the problem is that I want to have red to kill a thing next turn. I have a tap land, so just slight hand. Just slight hand. Pick a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which card do we take, folks? Left Thorinspire Verge or right Thorinspire Verge? Chose the right one. Uh, taps for red untapped, so yeah, whatever, it's fine. Thunder Falls. We see a maze goes to the bin. We get Altenac for a maze, which is pretty sick, actually. 
Two mana for a rampant growth that scry is pretty good, so. Um, they play a challenger. That's going to die, obviously. We draw a sleight of hand. Awesome. So let's sleight of hand. And find... I mean, Analyze Palm finds our combo pieces, right? Although we're going to bin... We already have Altanach. So I can say its name is like... Ah, I think the same thing is like not. I think we should try and think about. So we take Analyze the Pollen and try and set up for... We can discard the Altanach and set up for a tutor. It's good. I like that. So let's do this. And land. And kill this creature. Altanach versus Saga. That's yes. Uh, okay, so there you go. Five cards, another challenger. We can alternate back a land and then analyze the pollen for tutor target. And then be like end step questing druid, try and find our combo. Leaving up mana also will make them pump the brakes too, which is good. So let's go... Oh, wait, no, I can't do all that. I can't go Altanac and... I can go Altanac, Analyze, Tap Land. I can't do Altanac and Questing Druid and Analyze, so... What the hell is going on? Um, let's, uh... Let's just hold off on Analyze, then. Let's just play... I mean, playing a Tap Land's pretty valuable. Play Sanctum. All right. I think it's just end step, Altanac, and Questing Druid. Let's see. You go. You can't main phase the Druid because the cards go away. You want to end step it on their turn if you can. Then we've analyzed the pollen, rolled up. Also, the biggest thing, the biggest thing about this play is that like. By just leaving up four mana and saying go, our opponent is very unlikely. All right, never mind. I guess they're unlikely. Okay, sure. They're just happy to go for it. That's fine. Uh, in theory, they would be unlikely to just jam spells, and, and they would hopefully slow the game down and pump the brakes a little bit, but clearly not true, I guess. What's up, Titan? Here's Challenge. Right, so we, have, we want to find Pyroclasm really badly. Predictions for the next, P, next PTR? They haven't told us yet, so... All right, so we are at eight. Tapland. So it's Altanac. No, it's Questing Druid and then Altanac. Seek the Beast, top two. Vitality, Vitality, that sucks. And then we'll Altanac back our Hedge Maze. And bin a land. Pyroclasm, please. That's not Pyroclasm. Hi, yi, yi. All right, so I think I like just playing Vitality and Questing Druid and just double blocking. Um, yeah, sure. We have the Flood Caller, but it doesn't have haste. And that's Power and Power Clasm. Not exactly. Here's a Ley Line. Okay. They have Monstrous Rage, we're dead, but. What are you going to do? Fortunately, our draw wasn't too great. Monstrous Rage, kill me. Turn inside out. Okay, that's fine. So, their creatures don't even die or anything. They reveal a ley line. Reveal another ley line. <laughs> Good old ley lines. We brick though. I mean, now we can, um, we actually can can win now. So now we can analyze the pollen for the otter guy. Oh no, we're a man is short. No, we have a tap land. We can analyze the pollen for uh, the storm guy and then play him, but we can't keep going. That sucks. 
Um. They have one card. I mean, obviously, if we don't die here, life is good. But. Say its name. We say its name for untapped land. We can't actually go off. Because we need the spells. So. Chat really wants to tutor for uh, anything they want. It's only creatures or lands, folks. Um, oh, Splitter Halves are mad. I'm, I'm being an idiot, right? So, Pollen, Seeker. No, yeah, we're one short. No, we're not. The problem is we, should, we can't... Say his name can't find a spell. So we can't... We'll have to find exactly... Um, shit. Find exactly... Druid. All right, here's Splitter. I don't think we're alive here, but... Our first token. Yeah, we can't find what we want to find here. There's a land. We can't cast that. All right, let's get back Maze. Yeah, we're almost certainly dead here. Um, we died at basically anything. We also have any spells in our hand. We shouldn't find any spells this game. Like, maybe Impulse is better than Saiyan's name. Picnic runner, sure. That kills us. Uh, untap forest, play Floodcaller. Oh, if I left the Druid in the yard, I could have got the Druid and cast. I mean, it doesn't matter which dead, but. Um, yeah. Alright. I think we could have maybe played a little tighter that game, but that's okay. Hmm. Alright, try it again. Excuse me. Yeah, the cards that mill and grab permanence are kind of awkward. Um, for sure. Good old Altanac. Honestly, we're trying to land. Altanac's fine, so this is fine, I think. Keep this. We'll just maze on one. And then figure out. If we get lucky, a maze of land to each ramp of growth on turn two, which is kind of gas. So here's a mortuary. Land. So it's maze and see a founding the third path. That's pretty good. And keep that. Just founding the uh, the sleight of hand. Whoa! Mortuary into Thundering Falls. Hello, opponent's cooking. All right. So founding the third path, chapter one. All right. Cast sleight of hand. Top card. <sighs> left or right, chat? Left or right? All right, let's take Analyze the Pollen. Let's take it And uh, Hank in chat says, Hey, Jim. Took you to your break from magic. Getting back into it. Love your content. Binge watch 10 new brews. Aww. Thanks, Hank. Happy to have you. All right, mill four. Mill over a maze. A maze and some stuff. Um, our Analyze the Pollen is live now. We could tutor for... Which piece? They're, play they're just playing Domain, right? So, this should be a good magic for us. Um, Torch the Tower. Next turn, we're going to flash back a spell from the graveyard. So, exiling all of our spells to analyze the pollen seems kind of sketchy. Let's play a land as they go. Let's play a land as they go. Let's alternate back a land. That's not ideal, but fine. The next turn, we'll flash back sleight of hand. Cash grab seems iffy in this deck. Uh, I mean, maybe it's better than the say its name thing is, but they're gonna binding. Wow, it's not often you see a turn three binding these days. That's tough to do. All right, that's pretty crappy, but sure. Um, Pick lock prankster is a cool idea too. There's a lot of like there's a lot of things you could do in this deck for sure. District. All right, it's end step, Altanac. Get back the maze. Surveil. Say its name. I think we just... We just bit it. 
go a little deeper. We can just cast Explosion, draw cards that way. We draw Founding the Third Path. Image Explosion. Draw two. Uh, no discards. We draw Flood Caller. I mean, Flood Caller, Caller Song is a way to go off. Let's analyze for our enchantment. The problem is they have binding deal with my enchantments kinda suck, but uh four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's fine, sure. Go get our enchantment. Uh so we get our uh our vitality. Say go. Again, problem being they can just binding this, which is kind of annoying. Niv Mizzet Supreme is here. Wooberg 5 5, flying, hexproof, and monocolored. Each instant and sorcery in your graveyard, but it's exactly two colors as jumpstart. They have no graveyard. Uh, sure. Let's cast Founding the Third Path and. Maybe we end step Floodcaller. Let's found in third path, chapter one. Cast say its name, try to find a land. That's fine. Let's get the maze. Let's play maze. Planning on end stepping Floodcaller. Never your maze. So you go. In for five. End step, play Valley Flood Caller. Oh, it's my oh my okay. God. Uh, target player mills four, it's me. Play a land. They have four cards in their hand, and they can cast a Helix with Jump Start. Um, I think I want to just draw two, and we'll set up for Vitality next turn. Oh, no, they don't have Whiteout, never mind. But, right, let's just draw, draw some cards. That's fine. Play Vitality. Sega. We have Flashback, a... Any instant or sorcery next turn. Okay, uh, that stunk. Uh, so Niv Mizzet stuff. Um, so they got these torch towers. Uh, some number of negates, I guess. I don't hate Terra Sunder also. Uh, yeah, let's take another negate. I'll share one of these like cash grabby effects. Okay, sure, I guess. On the play. Pollen, say its name, Vitality. This is fine. The beans. The beans, the beans, the beans. Hedge maze, sleight of hand. Um, we're gonna say its name next turn. Cast Vitality, probably the turn after. I mean, just bin it. More cards for Analyze the Pollen. I'm gonna go find our Otter. Questing Druid. Sure. Say my name, say my name. Valley Floodcaller. I'm not convinced that Valley Floodcaller is a playable magic card. Um. We can like end step it and then vitality, I guess. Which is kind of cool. 
Alright, slide of hand's not bad also. Just say go. So now we have end step flood caller. And then we untap play vitality. We can start going off. Sort of going off. Things are not actually profiting creatures, so. They definitely have a removal spell. Sure, that's fine. Play flood caller. Untap. So if I go enduring vitality. And now every time I cast a spell, I generate one mana. I'm gonna blow my load though, you know? Yeah, usual team, CF CFB and friends. We have 10 players qualified. Huh. Hmm. I feel like it's land. Um, yeah. And we could cast Sleight of Hand, but, like, I kind of need to save spells to combo. We can analyze for the Otter, too. Sure, let's do that. Instead of for next turn. Oh, we can't cast the Instant Speed, you're right. Let's just attack for three. We missed out on a point of damage here, but, like... Oh, it doesn't have vigil. I'm such a freaking idiot. I'm, this thing has vigilance. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. We honestly have a, a decent chance to go off this turn. If we draw an untap land. So, they're playing Make Your Own Lock. This thing dies. We don't draw an untap land. Um, I mean, they might just cast Niv Visit next turn. I think we're going to maze end step this thing and try and just go off. Two, three. Hmm. Well, I guess we have alt and act too, right? This is a sorcery speed thing. All right, so sure. Let's just do this. Say its name. Bring back, I guess, questing druid. Uh... Let's Altenac. Hedge Maze. Bin a land. Say go. Plan being to end step questing druid, try and go off next turn. Say my name, say my name. Good Lord. They didn't cast Nib, is it? Which is kind of what we were hoping they would do. Here's Cornucopia. No combo, just a 9-9. Nine -nine. Alright, so... End step, Questing Druid. They're gonna Binding, sure. Binding the Vitality or the Altenac is the question. Altenac, cool. Draw a card. So, they have another Binding. That sucks. If they don't, we win. We're drawing a gate, too. Oh, wow. All right, so we should go land. Analyze the pollen. Exiling. Ill-timed explosion. Founding. Founding. Get our Storm Seeker. And play it. I guess that a gate is not... Oh, it's available. Sort of available. Uh, let's guess Slight Hand. I'll still have one. Only one, though. Or you play a land, right? Yeah, we're good. The game's over, so. Alright, so Questing Druid, untap. Vitality Thorn Spurge. Questing Druid, untap. Song of Toulouse or whatever thingy. Cast Song, make some rats. Not untap, but make more things, whatever, it's fine. Uh, and yeah, this game's over, obviously, so... We've got... Vitality, Druid, Negate... Uh, Floodcaller... This thingy, Flashback a Spell... We're good here, folks. Yeah. Alright, cool. 
Cool. Um, cool. Pick lock prank should just be kind of nice. Is the combo solid enough? I don't know. It is quite powerful, you know. The fact that one combo piece is re is resistant to removal and the other has haste is like a pretty big deal, you know. Is Esper control viable? I don't know. All right, game three. We're gonna keep. We got two of our three say its names. Uh, yeah. I mean, the rampant growth isn't bad, but we don't currently have land in the graveyard, so we should ship it. One cavern souls, damn. I like the cavern souls as a two target. That's why this seems so weird, because like it has a lot of clever deck building in it, like the one cavern souls, two to four, and so on and so forth. But like being sixty eight cards is so weird too. But it's like, is this deck tuned or is it not? You know what's the yeah, yeah, yeah. what's going on here? All right, maze district, the third say its name, but I can't like play them all. So all right, say say its say its name. Get back my vitality. Uh, yeah. First Slogar deck with 68 cards? Yeah, for sure. Analyze the Pollen. Okay. I play Vitality and they, uh, and they exile it. Kind of sucks, but I always want to get it in play, honestly. I can double say its name next turn, so... All right, friend, what do you got? They also just like can't play Nib Visit here because I gotta be scared of, of getting combo killed, so. Jace, the perfected mind. I got 68 cards. You ain't decking me, all right? Shrink the vitality, sure. Here's finding a third path. All right, I'll start there. Step found the third path. Chapter one, cast say its name. Get another Vitality, it's a backup copy, love it. I'm gonna go land, say its name. And then, I guess, Floodcaller? We have any spells here? I think we have any spells. Could we have gone off there? How? Oh, I guess like, we could have gone, sure. I could have tutored up a, a thingy and started, eh, uh, maybe. They have binding up too, so. Take a threat. Um, I want to set up for next turn. You can't fully set up for next turn. They don't have enough mana. Face Sunfall or, or Exile stuff or whatever. Um... We analyze the pollen for the one four. You still can't do it all. Hmm. I mean, kind of want to keep the cheap spell to start going off with. Get the splitter. Do you say its name thing? Uh, it's in the graveyard, right? So if they have like a sunfall here. Um, we can't go off, but. Parker player Mills. I will. I pull one. Okay. <laughs> Your entire mind Cash him and Jace. What's up, Demon? I will do my best, Demon. I'll do my best. Jace again. Again, good thing I have 68 cards in my deck. You know? 
poor, predictable bark always takes wrong. All right. I mean, I still have 19 cards left. Even a third Jace wouldn't deck me. Oh, I guess this is going to... I'm going to mill them. Haha, <laughs> I'm not getting milled. So I mill them. And... Uh, We can theoretically try and go off here. Sure. Let's just do it. Cavern on Otter. Play Storm Splitter. Do they have a counter spell? It'd be funny. I hope they have a counter spell. Uh let's cast Sleight of Hand. I can guess Flood Caller first. On on taps birds, frogs, otters, and rats. Kind of want to leave a nine nine up. Um, I also wouldn't get a, a storm splitter though. So if they counter it, we just lose it. Yeah. So okay, let's just cast light end. They counter with sleight of hand. I'm gonna cash grab, okay. Here's cash grab. We have 17 cards in our deck. The next non creature spell puts us mana positive. No more lies. Okay. And they could have, so they could have countered the. Uh, Sleight of hand and chose not to. Interesting. Actually, I might have mad. I might have mad up. Never mind. Uh, okay. So we attack for a bunch here. And then if they have a sunfall, it's kind of crappy. But whatever, I guess. So we have four mana. Playing either of these doesn't do anything. So these are going to go away anyway. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's attack for a bunch as they go. Go to eight. I mean, sunfall like isn't really a good card against us. Then maybe they would have boarded it out. But I will say Altanach has been very good. Like, having the secondary threat is pretty sweet. Rawl Crackling Wit. I've got a whole Make an otter. Sure. I hope you've got bottled lightning share. It's got trample. Okay. We can draw a splitter. So we're gonna copy uh just the cheapest spell possible, probably. I can get at analyze the pollen. Do I still have any uh I do not have any. I have one questing druid left. So we can analyze for questing druid. That's pretty good. So let's get analyze. Cast binding in response. Well, got to work with what's available. Exile storm splitter. Okay. We're currently in my main phase. So let's make a mana. I think they're dead. We already have a splitter in my hand. So we're going to cast Analyze the Pollen. Um, we're going to get a Questing Druid. We're going to cast Storm Splitter. Questing Druid. Reveal Song Negate. Um, we can just negate our own song. I don't know, we're kind of like out of things to do, though. But they're almost dead, right? They're at 11. They have two power to block with. I have nine trample, 10. So if I just song... Shit, man. Um, song for zero, make two otters attack. They block and take nine. I believe that is good. So song for zero. Let me make sure, make sure I pay it properly. Pay it with this guy. Song for zero. 
Oh, we can actually, oh, I could have full controlled and countered the zero. That's fine. So I punted, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so I could have actually songed, made the tokens, and then used the tokens for mana and negated the song for zero and had more things. We still have lethal anyway, though, so it's fine. So, all right. I mean, that was pretty cool. Um, okay. Weird match, obviously, but Blouses. this deck certainly does things. One more. More information must be gathered. Not good, but... Oh, no! We keep a sketchy and we get punished by this stupid deck. I was hoping turn three vitality would be enough. Ugh. Well, we're at 13. I guess we're dead. All right, well, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> 13. Uh, seven. Not quite a turn three kill in the play, but just about. All right. I mean, it was kind of a loose keep anyway, honestly. So bring in Pyroclasm, Pyroclasm, uh, the Furnaces, maybe the Flood Maw too. Uh, we're going to cut down on, I would say ill-timed explosion is like, doesn't really have big things to discard, you know? So, um, this Flood Maw card is kind of sketchy. Yeah, it's fine. Go to those. Cut two flood callers. All right, kind of a loose keep, but uh, this hand's good. We got sleight of hand. I guess the founding of third path isn't doing much, but we can't mulligan stand. We can just play tap land and just into a founding of third path. So turn through vitality. Why does that have sixty-eight cards? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it obviously has a lot of self mill. It does seem weird. I would be surprised if the optimum build of his deck was not uh, 60 cards, but so you keep that. Keep cash grab. Well, founding cash grab on turn two. They can't kill us turn two with the uh, Suspear, right? That's cool, I guess. Cash grab. All right, let's take the land. Almost whiff there, honestly. No, uh, no red mana yet, but. We have Vitality. Hard cast Picnic Ruiner. I mean, blocking Ruiner is pretty cool. Mill some cards. We've been, we've been a, for a 68 card deck, we've had a lot of say its names. Bouncing Leyline. I mean, like, that seems, I mean, maybe, you know. Here's the Spear. All right. Do you have, uh, do you have the goods? Yes, they do. Okay, so obviously if they have a Monstrous Rage also, we're dead. They don't, so that's good. Um, that being said, we're like, in trouble here. Um, so we can copy a card from the graveyard. So let's copy Torch Tower. Oh, no, I'm red. I'm an idiot. Um, I'm f I just, so stupid. Uh, Whoops. Whoopsie. I mean, I don't know if I was casting any other cards anyway. We're going to try and block Picnic Ruiner. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, we like cash grab, just cast Questing Druid, I guess. Say his name returns creature or land. Cash grab returns permanent. It's so hard to know what's better. All right. Um, same otter. They have one card left. So they're, they're out of things to do. We can maybe win this game. We just play questing druid, chump block, and cash grab, I guess.
I guess we could just main phase the cash grab and try and get Altanac. That's true. We get lucky. They have land Leyline. Like, these, le these Leyline games are just so volatile, you know? Like, they can kill you on turn two, or they can just draw a bunch of Leylines and do nothing, you know? It's, like, really, really volatile. All right. They attack. I would assume we don't block here, actually. It's only four damage. A couple tap lands. Really awkward. Uh, another Enduring Vitality. Does block, at least. I'm kind of okay with that, actually. We draw a Thunder Falls. Sure. So, let's cast Slide of Hand. Counter there. Take Questing Druid. Thundering Falls. Roaring Furnace. I don't think that Roaring Furnace... I guess we actually could Questing Druid into the Roaring Furnace. But that leaves us tapped out. And they have two Swiss Spears in play. That doesn't seem good enough. Ship that. And then we'll just play Vitality with two blockers and say go. No, it's tap these lands, please. Thank you very much. Word six, two blockers say go. Please, God, just draw a creature or a land. Come on! <laughs> well, they drew best possible. We're dead. All right. All right. Alright, alright. Ban red, ley line, yada yada yada, etc, etc, etc. Okay. I'm sorry to say that this batch of Japanese tournament deck lists did not, uh, did not really, uh, impress. Still a piece of every single deck has good things going on, and has, has, has good concepts, and every single deck list is just an absolute disaster, I think. Um, I do think this deck could be good. Uh, it's probably not gonna be 68 cards, though. Four Flood Callers is insane. Song is cute, but I don't know. Not sure about Say It's Name. Flood Caller just seems like kind of meh. I, I don't know, honestly. Um, the list does seem really, really off. We did Altanac a few times, but like the Say It's Name is kind of you know, weird. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's obviously a pretty powerful combo, and it's also somewhat dependent on the metagame too, where like if folks are playing a million counter spells and go for the throats, probably bad. If folks are playing, you know, linear stuff or whatever, or like slow stuff, maybe. Uh, but, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, so uh, I, I feel kind of bad because like, I feel like all four of these lists were just really, really bad. And like, I just don't think that was very good content for the last six hours, unfortunately. But we're playing, all of us are playing forward from this point. will be lists that top eight at a challenge or five out of league on Magic Online. So Japanese tournament kind of lets us down, but is what it is. Uh, so whatever, we're gonna play. We'll keep we keep playing on stream. You two folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, peace.